Okay, so right after the intro, now we're to the verse, which is kind of a little finger pick, a hybrid picking pattern, actually. And um, to really get a handle on it, you need to do, be doing a lot of palm muting on this low G. And, you know, in a perfect world here, my tone would have a little less distortion on it, but, you know, oh well. So, anyway, you're going to have, it's going to basically start with one downstroke palm muted in the back of your palm on the 5th fret 4th string and then you're going to be barring the 3rd fret at the top two, the first two strings so we're going to be like this and then you're going to use now what he does is he actually takes his 2nd finger and he picks his, the 1st string with his 2nd finger and then goes over and picks the 2nd string like this so I like to do kind of use my my ring finger on that first string and my middle finger on the second. Some people like to pick it. It was just two up strokes, but if you want to do it like him, he's going to be using some sort of finger style picking there. He uses, I think, the second finger each time, and I use the ring in the middle. So anyway, you do that. The melody notes in the middle is what's going to be changing. And then after you do that, hit that once, the, the G once, three, three. Then you're going to hit the G twice, and then do 3-5, and then hit the 5 again. Remember, keep that 5 muted on the 4th string, and then 3-7, and then back to the G, the 5th fret, and then back to the previous 3-5. So it goes... Just keeps doing that in a row. So we've got that, let me see how many times. And then right here, the band comes in after he's played through it twice. Okay, and you're gonna end on that high note after doing that phrase, and then we start the actual melody note, which is going into a G major arpeggio. Slide into that third fret, I mean uh, third string, seventh fret, and then the second finger at the eighth fret on the second string, seventh fret on the first string, so it goes little G major arpeggio, and then, okay, and then this is basically a big uh, G power chord. You have the third finger at the tenth fret on the fifth string, first finger at the 8th fret, 2nd string, and then pinky at the 10th fret on the 1st string. You're gonna, the low note will be picked with a pick, and then your middle and ring finger get the top two notes, and you hit them all together. Piano style, that's how he does a lot of his chords. Then we go back to that same, that same triad we did just a minute ago, and we're gonna top it out with the 10th fret on the 1st string. Then we have a new chord, bar at the 8th fret, first two strings, and then the 3rd finger of the 10th fret on the 4th string. So you'll pick the low note, and the top two notes are hit with your middle and ring finger. And then in that melody, with this melody, 8th uh, fret, first string, bend a whole step at the 10th fret on the 2nd string, pick that again, and then back to that same uh, verse figure. Okay, so so we go back down, all the way back down to that three five one, and then we go come to these chords, which he lets all the notes ring here. You're gonna bar across five strings with your first finger, and it, and you're gonna go. And that's just pick the bottom, the, the third fret, fifth string, and then index finger on the first string, and then middle finger on the second string. So you do that twice. And then we're gonna do pick the downstroke on the uh, put our third finger on the fifth fret on the fifth string. Pick that and just hit the first string after that. And then hit it again, and this time put your pinky at the fifth fret on that first string. 
and then end it with that same 10, 8, 10 chord. All right, and then we come up here to the 12th fret and go. And that is just basically just slide from the 10th fret up to the 12th. Little roll. Just 12 on the 13th, 12 on the second string, 15 on the second string, 10th on the first string, 14th fret first string and then end it with that 15th fret on the second. So uh, coming out of this uh and he hits a harmonic on that note. If you can find it. I can't really hear the guitar signal here because I can't find it. So um, um, and then we have the um, the 15th fret here the fifth string, 15th with your first finger, and then 17th fret with your third finger on the fourth string, 14th fret on the third string, and then that 15th fret on the second string, and then the 12th fret on the first string. And then we're going to take a little slide from the, with your third finger. You kind of slide from on the third string from 12 to 14, and give it a little, little bend there. Come back down, and then 12th fret with your first finger, and back to this. Okay, so we got so far. We just stop at that three seven and just stop in this high note. You'll be able to hear it where you're at. And just it's the same figure that we've been doing the whole song. And then we play these two chords. It's a C and a D. Just to hold the C. It's a low C is picked with the uh, the pick, and then these two strings, uh, second and third string, hit with your middle and ring. And then the zero on the fourth string, two on the third, three on the second. And that leads us into the pre chorus I mean to the chorus. The chorus starts with a uh, start the 14th fret with your first finger um, on the fourth string, slide down to 12 and back up to 14. Then your pinky is going to grab the 17th fret. You might want to use your third finger, but it's actually uh, a little bit easier to use your uh, your third finger, and that will uh, actually is how he plays it. So it actually makes it sound, give it that kind of smooth sound. So, so we have, and then you're gonna pick the seventeenth fret with an upstroke, and then the on the see that little roll idea, the fourteen. 14 to 13 and uh, 14 to the third string. So we got this. And then pick the upstroke on the 17th and slide it down to one fret and then do the roll at the 12th fret. And then upstroke on the 16th fret and pull off, uh, uh, slide down to 14. And then 12 on the fourth string. And then first uh, finger 11th fret on the third string. 14th fret on the third. So we have this. And then we go 11, 12, 14. Roll again at the 12. 14 down to, I mean 16 down to 14. And then we just up 12, 11 on the third. Uh, 12 on the third, and then you're gonna pick, pull off to 11, shift back and pick 9, and then 12 on the four, and then 9 on the fourth. So it's
Okay, and then start doing that again. And right here it gets a little bit different. It goes 12, 11 on the third, um, 14 on the third, and then reach your pinky. See, I changed it to playing that 14 with my third finger so I could reach up and grab the pinky at the 15th fret on the second string. And then back up, 12, 11, 14, slide up to 16, then a roll of the 12 from 4 to 3, pick upstroke on that 16, slide down to 14, and 12, 11, 12, pick 12 again, pull off to 11, come over to the 14 on the 4th string, and play that on the, uh, and then come over to the 2nd string, 15th fret, 3rd finger, okay, and then we've got back to this, we got, well, so far, Back to the same stuff now. Now the ending is going to be a little bit different. Instead of this, it goes, and that is just a pick 12, pull off to 11, slide down to 9, come over to the 9 on the 4th string slide that down to 7 and then pick the th 7 on the 4th again on the 3rd and 2nd and then it goes back to the and does that one phrase a little bit then come up here 14th fret 1st string and then 17th fret and then come to put your, your uh, muted note uh, the, so it goes 2nd finger, 12th fret on the 4th string, and then your 3rd finger plays the 1st string, 12th fret. And then we got a quick little upstroke on the 10 on the 1st string, and then pick 12 and pull the 10. So we had this. And then come down to here. We have an upstroke on the 7 on the 1st string, uh, downstroke on the 10 and pull off the 8 on the 2nd string and then 3rd string downstroke on the 7th fret and then we continue the phrase but this phrase this time continues you're going to have to find where you're at you're going to start at the 5th fret one not the, there because we're kind of in the middle of the pattern now and then we're going to come up here and get back to the main melody by doing this little ending. 12, 14, 15, 14, on, so it's 12 on the 4th, 14 on the 3rd, uh, 15 on the 2nd, 14 on the 1st string, and then 15. So it's okay. And then we have after doing this phrase again, we do the same phrase we did earlier. The same. Okay, and now we have the new line that goes like this. So you have to really know this song to know where you're at because he does a lot of the same things, but he keeps throwing these little licks in. So you might want to be tabbing this out as we go. So we have nine on the third, eight on the second. 7 on the 1st, and then we're going to pick 10, and pull off to 8 on the 1st string. Alright, so that's coming out of this, um, so then we after that, come over to the 3rd third, the third string, 7th fret, Pull from 8 to 7,
after this this eight to seven, eight on the third second string, nine on the third, pull off to the third uh, the third string seventh fret, and then come back and end it on that eight on the second string. Then up to the 14th fret, 14, third string, second string, 15th fret, use second finger. Then 14 on the first string, come back down 17, 15 on the second, and then 15, I mean, uh, I mean 17 back on the second string, 14. Back to 17, back to 14, 17 down to 15. So we get this. And then we're going to end it with 17 on the second, 15 on the first string. With a bend at the 17th fret, back down to 15. And then second string. So we get this. So after that 17, then at the 18th fret. And then that same thing we did earlier, slide to the 14th. Little bend. And then we're going to end it this time with these two chords. This is where we're going to play the C this time. 5th fret. For 4th uh, string, 3rd uh, string. And then the bar with your pinky at the eighth fret. And then the power chord off the fifth fret on the fifth string. And then. Back to this. Now when we get to this point, we have a little different thing here. We have a 12, 14, 15, 12 on the fourth, 14 on the third, 15. 14 on the second, and then a fast little lick. And how he does that is an upstroke on the 14, on the fifth string, down on the 17, on, then up on 14 on the third, fourth string, and then 17, and then keep down picking to 16 on the third, keep down picking 15 on the second, hammer on to 17, down stroke on the 15, 19th fret, and then come back down to 2nd string. And then so we have this, and then the, it's the same thing, and that same in Okay, and instead of going back to this part, we now go to the bridge, which we'll take up in the next video.